Hello everyone and welcome to this brief introduction. Sorry I wasn't able to present this live on the International Days at Thomas More University, but here I am doing it as a Pecha Kucha. So 20 slides at 20 seconds each, so this won't take long at all. My name is David Evans and I'm Professor in Sexualities and Genders, Health and Wellbeing um, at the University of Greenwich in England, UK. Um, I was actually born in Wales, born in Cardiff, the capital city of Wales. But I've spent over half of my life now living in England and 30 years plus in Greenwich itself. So at our university, we have three separate campuses, um, all uh, um, emanating around the main one, which is in Greenwich Maritime. So we have Greenwich Maritime, Nursing, Midwifery and Paramedic Science are out at Avery Hill, where I'm based. And we have other nursing and midwifery sites out at Medway. Um, you can see these slides are moving very, very quickly here, 20 seconds each. So to uh, introduce my life career in learning, I started off originally nursing, then I became a Roman Catholic priest, which at some point I left, and then I've been teaching now for almost 31 years. Back in 2014, I was fortunate, and fortunate enough to have been um, awarded a National Teaching Fellowship and that's the highest achievement for excellence in teaching at UK universities. So there's around about 55 people awarded a National Teaching Fellowship every year. And then in 2018, I was really honoured to have been um, awarded an OBE by Her Majesty the Queen, Officer of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire. Um, no, not that that term exists anymore, but it's, uh, it's, it's the name of the particular order. And here you can see Prince Charles awarding it to me, and my husband was there with the pink tie on as well as me. Now over to a couple of little bits about Thomas More and why the links between us and your university. Well, actually, the campus I'm based on in Avery Hill is part of Eltham in the Royal Borough of Greenwich. So we're part of London, but on the outskirts. And Thomas More's daughter was a woman called Margaret Roper. Well, her uh, and her husband and their family, they actually owned a farm on what's now part of our campus. So the building you see here has been there since late 1800s, and that's actually built on what was uh, Roper Farm. So we do have these links going back uh, um, to Thomas More. And you'll see some of the images here from Thomas More Church, which is at Chelsea Embankment um, in London. And most of the church was actually uh, destroyed during the Second World War when it was hit by a bomb, but it's been rebuilt brick by brick, identical to how it was. Even for some of the little things that had gone wrong in the church, they built it back in that same way. And the only bit that was remaining was what's, what was called the Roper Family Chapel, the little side chapel. So here are some more images of Thomas More and a little kneeling stool for, um, uh, referring to Margaret Roper. And then Margaret Roper, after her father had been executed by King Henry VIII, um, he had his head off and his body was chopped to bits and all that, and they put his head on a spike on uh, London Bridge. And Margaret Roper paid for some soldiers to go underneath on a boat and for them to throw the head off so somebody could catch it. And they've actually buried that in a church in Canterbury. So you can see the gravestone now where his head is, but his body's missing because he was considered a traitor. So that's the little bit of history, our links between us. So here are the questions I was given. First of all, what do I do? at my university. Well, I've told you I'm a professor in sexualities and genders. That means that most of my teaching, not all, but most of it is to do with sexual health. And it's right across all the undergraduate programs, right on to the postgraduate and doctoral studies as well. Uh, three words that my colleagues would say about me. Hopefully, I'd like them to say I'm friendly, I'm approachable, and I love my work. And if they say that, then that I think that sums me up uh, quite nicely there. I'd be happy with that. Um, now this one, what is one professional skill that you're currently working on? Well, you'll see that this video is embedded within an Adobe Spark page. And I've really taken to this like a duck to water. I love using Adobe Spark and visiting, visiting sorry, vi editing videos in Adobe Premiere Rush. 
And just because of the passion of that and the self-directed teaching I've done, um, I'm now able to teach this right across the university. So although I normally talk about sexualities and sexual health, I'm also teaching uh, right across the university on these particular IT programs. And especially in these days of COVID, when so much has gone online, this is a real great benefit to my colleagues for them to learn how to do teaching, learning and assessing um, online. You'll notice with lots of the images that I'm showing you that they are from uh, um, our own campuses. So I'm trying to give you a flavour of Greenwich. Something that says here what energises me at work. Well, when I first became a pre professor in 2018, a professor friend said to me that being a professor is a lifestyle, not a job. And that really energises me. What drains me, don't tell my boss, all the um, um, the emails, the meetings, the, the, all the bureaucratic side which is necessary to keep the university up and running of course it's necessary uh, but that often takes away from uh, the passion of being able to to actually teach what made me register for these well I was invited to come and do these presentations because I actually spoke at the days the international days two years ago in 2019 and um, maybe they liked me then and they said would you come back and do more so i was truly honored to have been invited back uh, to speak at this second day um, when are our international days successful for you well, I think this one online has been a great success. What's been missing from it, of course, is the, uh, the physical contact. Okay, so uh, not being able to see people uh, there, share with you all in the classrooms and across your amazing campuses. Because last time I actually visited four of your campuses and it was really wonderful to get an experience of that part of Flanders. And um, uh, especially the the food, the beer, the... Uh, um, uh, the ice cream, everything about your food and drink was wonderful. What do I know? About, what do I want to know about colleagues present? Well, the great internationalness of everyone, and especially to find out if anybody's doing anything at all on sexual health, which sadly doesn't seem to be uh, happening. What do I know about other countries? Fortunately, I have managed to travel a fair bit: um, Taiwan, Bahrain, Hong Kong, and many, many countries across Europe. Um, and always happy to do some more traveling. So that's it. The 20 slides are up. So thank you so much for listening. As you move down the Adobe Spark page, you'll find a lot more resources. Lovely meeting you all. Thank you.